Dit is my een absolute voorrag om met Sophie Lishani Musabeni te gesels. Sy is een baie inspirerende vrouweboer. Sophie, welcome to Great Plaas. Thank you so much. I, I love having you here. I love that we are matching in opposite ways. I, I, you know, I've been following your journey and there's not a lot of things that inspires me as much as your story. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mia. <laughs> Tell me a little bit. Um, we we spoke, I think, last year, or was it two years? No, it was yeah, last year somewhere. It was last year. And um, you told me, you told us a bit about your story and your journey and how you started with spinach <laughs> and, you know, started it as, you know, just to get a, a, an extra income to mm. help uh, your mum mm. and, um, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew. And when I open up my social media feed, it's Sophie. So tell me, what's new? What's happening in your life? Oh, okay. Now, um, as you can see, last year we won um, my Tupple Awards. Um, I am an upcoming a new entrance of commercial farm oh, wow. that I went from through agri writers and I won a uh, Toyota new harvest of the year yeah. uh, through agri housing. So um, yeah, those are the things that um, it's inspired me yeah. uh, each and every day. If you can see those uh, sp uh, sponsors and also the, 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 the G yeah. uh, in uh, coming through. So yeah, I think um, at the moment now we are, farming and mm. now we are moving to into processing yes so we saw that south african people are so busy so this thing of coming from work and then you go to the shop and then yeah. you buy a cabbage as a whole yeah. you have to cut it so it's it not going it anymore. doesn't no. work anymore <laughs> and it's it's weird but it's the truth uh, mm. life is so fast paced and I must say, I want to give you like a low-key high five <laughs> just because you're doing you're doing really well and isn't it amazing when people start believing in your dream? Is oh. that is that what you're experiencing somehow? <laughs> oh yes, and that is my main purpose is to inspire youth, the the, the, the youth to take agriculture so serious. Mm. And I am so happy because there's a lot of youth mm. who wants to be like me, and yeah. I am so happy. That means the food security in South Africa yeah. is going to be fine because that's what we are fighting for. Mm. Food are so expensive um, in in South Africa because most of the people who were producing food were old people and. Mm but now they are growing up so it it left to us mm. what are we going to what are we doing as youth yeah 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 so if I can see a numbers of youth now entering into agricultural mm. sectors, I am so excited mm. and I'm willing to help those who really want to yes. become farmers mm. and producing food in South Africa. Mm. And that's one thing I know about you is, you know, your heart is open to help other people because that's the thing with agriculture. Mm. Agriculture is not just a mine thing. Yes. It's not just me, my farm, you know, mm -hmm. you're part of something so much bigger. You're part mm -hmm. of feeding mm -hmm. a nation. Oh, I don't yes. think there's a, a bigger responsibility mm -hmm. that there uh, is. And I would love to hear from you. I actually thought about this the other day. Mm. If you could go back and encourage or tell your 10 year old self, mm. you know, knowing what you know now, mm. what would you say to that little girl who tried to bring in just an extra income and hustle a little bit. What would you say? Okay, um, I'll, I think I will tell them that uh, they must not uh, give up. Mm. Give up is not an option. Absolutely. If they really want to do something, they must be serious about it. And they must also um, accept themselves and they must work with what they have. Mm. So they must not get any pressure from somewhere or people uh, making them feel like what they're doing is not all right and not important yes because it's only me who knows yes. my dream you you can come to my farm and preach. check and preach but <laughs> you, you don't understand what is yes. really really in my mind yes. but it's only me there's a lot of people who came to my life when I was starting to cut. Sophie, what is she doing? <laughs> but this is not, it's not proper. Go do nursing or go do, go to I, know, I know. Why are you resigning as yes. a nurse? Because yes. why, where are you going to get your salary? Yes. Not knowing that I can make 
triple or double from what I was getting before. Yes. But uh, because I look very poor, yeah. <laughs> so for them, it doesn't give mm. them that picture. Mm. Which in, to become an entrepreneur is mm. not an easy thing. Absolutely but not. If you are really, really, really uh, serious about what you are doing, mm. eventually, somewhere, mm. somehow, you are going to get your way mm. and you're going to be successful. And it's absolutely true. I couldn't have said it better myself. And here in the studio, you look very fancy. But I know you can drive a tracker like nobody's business. Oh, yes. And I know, I, you know, I know. Um, and, and you are such, you are becoming, but you also are, you're such a big name in the agricultural sphere. And um, you're also a woman. Oh, yes. And I think especially... In these days, and you know, things have changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the landscape, it's changed. Exactly. But for you, I don't want to, I don't want to ask you what's the biggest challenges of mm. being a, a woman farmer. Mm. I want to ask you what makes you um, the most excited about being in the role you are. Oh, okay. I, I think um, for me, they, there's nothing that I can tell myself for it's so difficult. You even mentioned the example of driving a tractor. Oh, so that, I've seen you. <laughs> so <laughs> back then, the tractors that that's why it was a man who used to used to drive the yeah, tractors yeah. because the gears were very hard to yeah, change yeah. and those kind of things. Yeah. But now we are because the technology, technology. is coming each and every day. So the mm. tractor that uh, I, I'm using mm. currently is a good as driving my buggy. Yes. So <laughs> I don't oh, see I love any, that. <laughs> I don't see mm. any need of a hiring like a man. And uh, again, I'm the one who knows how it works. Yes. Once it gets broken, I know it comes back to me. Yep. So I am head. So I must know everything that is happening in yes. my farm. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no one who's going to come and tell me what to do. Mm. I must be always a step ahead. Mm. I, I remember the last time we spoke, you told me about, you know, there's plans for um, buying bigger mm. ground mm. and buying. Has that those dreams realized? Yes. To brag a little bit. We're not, we're not going to brag too much, but I do want to brag alongside you. How is this question going to come through right? How big is your portfolio at the moment? I mean, what, what have you achieved? Yeah, since, I, I can say since last year, since we met me yeah. and you, yo, I achieved a lot of things. Um, remember last year, I was farming but not making enough profit. Yes. But now because I started to win those kind of awards and everything, mm. and I keep posting my yes, vegetables in, in social media. So most of my markets, yeah. I get it in social media. Yes. So I'm not just posting for bragging. No, I'm I, posting I, I, for I don't think you are. Yeah. Yes. So um, I can say now I'm also buying another piece of land That's because wonderful. of from out of my profit yes. and I also opening a, a, a I already renovated the new uh, processing unit I'm building a high care at the moment so hey I, I achieved a lot of things so now I had uh, I like about 15 workers but now I'm I'm sitting with 40 workers who are working uh, every day and so I am so proud of that and you I you should you should mm, be and um I I'm always so aware that us humans in general, we don't give ourselves enough credit. Mm, mm, mm. We don't. And we I don't. don't know. It's such a human mm. thing. We, <laughs> you know, you do what you do and you achieve what you achieve. And, mm. and you actually go far beyond the boundaries mm. that people mm. give you. Mm. They're like, oh, you'll never, you'll never. You and never. then you just step over it mm. and in I your swear. stride. And you don't want to brag, but I really want to, I want to encourage you and, 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 and it's really amazing what mm, you're doing because mm. in, in living your dream, you're also creating job opportunities. Mm. You are creating future farmers. Mm -hmm. And like you said earlier, food security mm. is literally what it's about. Mm. We need mm. to eat. We need to eat. As a country, day. 
We need to eat, and in the next how many years there's mm. going to be, we need to eat. We need to eat, and we have to make the food to be very cheap. Yes. Because as you can see now, the prices of food, mm. it's going up and mm. up, and this is not right for the country. This is not right for the South Africans. Mm. So we really need a number of people who's going to be producing food so mm. that the prices of food must go down. Yes. Yeah, each and every person must be able to afford to eat yeah. a proper meal each and every day. Because let's be honest, mm. to eat is not a luxury. Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm, it's not. It's not, it, and it should never be, <laughs> be a, luxury a luxury to be able to eat. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Lastly, you are where you are now. What would be the next, what's the next big step as um, Archibald you? What's the next big thing for you? Um, because not taking away how far you've come, mm -hmm. adding to what you're going to become, what's it going to be? Okay. As you can see now, I started in Gauteng to process vegetables. So now I want to go nationally. Yes. So my food must be eaten in Cape Town. Yes. My food must be eaten in Limpopo. So I am growing, uh, I want to grow bigger, bigger, and to supply food nationally. Yes. That's when I'm going to start to do export. Yes. Yeah. yeah. From nationally, then export. Yeah. I want to make sure that South Africans, they are sorted before I go outside. There we go. As long as food Come are on. still food, as long as food is still expensive yes. in South Africa, it's just going to yeah, it's, it's just going to be here. Here, yes. And then, it's, it's not too it's not too big of a dream to mm -mm. dream. No, 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 no. It's already on the way. It's, it's already, already started. And are you still focusing? You're obviously doing spinach. What, what are you doing? What are you farming with? Oh, no, I've got uh, lots of variety at the moment. Yeah. I'm specializing on cabbages, green beans, baby marrow, yellow petty pants, tunips, butternut, pumpkins. There we go. Yeah, so now I grow, especially now in the processing mm. area because I'm also outsourcing yeah. some vegetables. So most of them, I want to produce them from the farm. Yeah. Yes. It's very important. Mm. Well... Sophie, once again, the inspiration, um, there's no end to the inspiration that you give. And I really hope that, you know, young people, they keep on looking at you because you're such a good role model. <laughs> thank you. And I know you know it, you know, you feel it. So thank you for what you're doing and thank you for just living your dream. Um, you know, you can only do what you do and the people that's being inspired by you just being... You don't have power on that, but thank you. Thank we appreciate you. you. And um, it's awesome, you know, just ending Women Month with mm. such a passionate, passionate woman. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, Ruth Plus and Mia <laughs> to put me on the spotlight um, uh, all the time. I really appreciate because it's nationally mm. who's watching mm. uh, me and most of the buyers, they come through a uh, hot yes. plus to uh, oh, Sophie, we want to test this lady. And if they don't go wrong, I produce, <laughs> I, 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 I remember they, there's a, another uh, man who's um, uh, processing for airlines. Yes. He tested me last year after he saw me in Hot plus. There we go. Then he said, ah, Sophie, can you supply me with the spinach? <laughs> I gave him spinach until he said, I Sophie, it's too much. Let's <laughs> Well, to that, I, I just need to say this. Sophie, we're going to talk again. And I hope you have a good day. Oh, thank you so much. You too, Mia.